In this video, I'm gonna show you how to program and run through all the features of the Quickset Powerbolt 2 Deadbolt. And we're gonna do it right now. So here is the Powerbolt Deadbolt. Pretty cool design. What's nice about it is you still have a key just in case something goes wrong. And the first thing you want to do is just put the key in, make sure it turns, make sure you're good there. And on the back side here, to access where the batteries go, you just grab this cover and pull up. It takes four AA batteries. And maybe the most important thing to remember is if you mess anything up, there's this little reset button right here. And if you ever want to return this to factory settings, you put this in here and hold it down for five seconds. And you're gonna hear it beep. Beeps three times. And this, all the programming that's been done to it has been reset. So let's start from scratch. So a couple things to note on the back side of the battery cover, you do have kind of a cheat sheet on how to program this. And the instructions are very detailed, but there's something about being able to see this in action, see somebody actually doing it. And that's why I'm making this video, just so it's a little more clear. So I'm gonna run through all the features of it and show you how it works. Before we get into programming this thing, if you found this video and we're hoping to see how this is installed, it's pretty basic. The bolt goes in first, you put this piece through, the actual lock piece, make sure it's in the unlocked position, make sure the piece that's going through here is flat. Then there's a bracket that goes on the back side that attaches to that piece. The wire runs through, you connect it to the wire on this piece, and then there's three bolts that hold this piece on. Really simple, hopefully that explanation is enough. Really this video is just basically to show you all of the features and how to program this. So this comes pre-programmed with a master code. And what the master code is, is it's not going to unlock the door, but it is basically like the password to be able to program this. So if you think about going on YouTube, you enter your password and it unlocks YouTube. But in order to get to your computer first, that's the master code. You put in your password into the computer and then you do the password to get onto YouTube. So the master code that is factory set for this is zero, 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 zero. So anytime you're gonna do some programming, you need to enter that code. And you can change that code, which I'll show you a little later in the video. First thing you wanna do after installing this is you wanna set the lock direction. So you want this in the unlocked position and you're gonna enter a code to tell this to figure out which way is locked and which way is unlocked. And you do that by entering your master code, zero, zero, zero zero press the lock button press zero and then the lock button and the dead bolt's going to come out and go back in and beep twice if it beeps three times and this doesn't move you did something wrong so when i first did this i noticed that when i opened this up there was a little it like caught a little bit somewhere here so i tried entering that code a bunch of times and it didn't work so what I ended up doing was I put it in the lock position. I did that same code, 0000, zero, zero, zero lock, zero, lock, and it went back in. And then I did that factory reset, did it again, and it reset something in here. So if that's something that you're having trouble with, try that, and that should work. So now that that is set up, it knows which way is locked and which way is unlocked we can keep going. To lock this thing, you don't need a code. All you have to do is press lock, but make sure that you're not outside without having set the code first because, I mean, or without having a key because you're not gonna be able to get back in unless you have the key. So in order to lock this, that's it, real simple. Just push the lock button. This deadbolt actually comes pre-programmed with a user code and that is one, two, three, four. And it's recommended that you 
obviously delete that because people have the internet and they can see this video. So to add a code that will unlock the door, it's called a user code. What you want to do is enter your master code, zero, 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 press unlock. It'll beep once, then you press one, then you press lock again, enter your code between four and 10 digits. I'm going to do one, 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 and then the lock button. That'll beep twice. If it beeps three times, again, you did something wrong. So now you lock this, say you're outside of the house, and to unlock, you enter your user code, one, 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 unlock. User code is set. Again, if this was locked and you try using the master code, zero, 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 beeps three times, nothing's gonna happen. So let's say you want a code specifically for the kids or someone else. You do that same thing, enter your master code, zero, 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 lock, one, lock, enter your new code, three, 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 three. Again, it can be four to 10 digits, lock, beeps twice. Now you have two user codes programmed in here. We'll lock this. One, 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 lock, that unlocks. And then we'll try the kids code. Three, 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 lock, unlocked. You can have up to six user codes in one one-time user code, which is really cool. It'll only work one time. As a note, don't make any of your user codes the same as your master code. To set a one-time user code, let's say somebody's dropping something off or somebody's coming to work on your house, what you wanna do is enter your master code. Four zeros, lock, one, nine, lock, and then we'll do five, 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 lock, beeps twice, and now that's set. Now watch this, this is really cool. Locked. We enter the one-time passcode, one, two, three, four, lock, it unlocks. Now let's try it again. One, two, three, four, lock, doesn't work. Because that deletes immediately after use, which is really cool. Now to delete individual codes, you press zero, 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 lock, three, lock, and then enter the code, one, two, three, four, lock, beeps twice. Now that user code is deleted. We'll test it out. Deleted. So let's say you wanna delete all of the user codes and start over. Uh, same thing, enter your master code, zero, 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 lock, five, and lock, beeps twice. Now all of your user codes are deleted. We'll try the first one. Beep three times, they're all reset. Now keep in mind, once you delete all the user codes, this will not lock with the lock button. So you have to use the key until you set a user code. Now let's say you don't like the beeping noise of any of these buttons. Well, you can turn that off. You can mute the deadbolt. And the way to do that is enter your master code. Lock one, five, lock, beeps twice, and it will not beep again as you can see. And to turn that back on, you do the same thing. Master code, lock, one, five, lock, beeps twice, and it's unmuted. This deadbolt also has an auto lock feature. So once you unlock it, it will automatically relock within 30 seconds. 
and by default it does not have it on so you need to program that in order to have the feature work so in order to turn that on you do zero 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 lock one one lock beeps twice and now when i unlock it so let's lock it and when i unlock it with my code We're gonna wait 30 seconds and it should lock back up. Now you can, like I said, this is gonna be 30 seconds. You can change it so that it goes anywhere from 10 seconds to 50 seconds. And I'll show you how to do that next. We're just gonna wait for that to pop out. Give it some time. This might be a good thing if you are forgetful like myself you run out of the house, you get down the street and worry about this thing locking. Well, it doesn't matter because you have the auto lock feature on. But I could also see how that could be annoying. So to disable it, you just do the same thing. Master code, lock, one, one, lock, and that is disabled. Now let's say you want this to lock quicker or slower with the auto lock feature. First, you need to turn the auto lock feature on and then enter the code and you can do 10 seconds, 20, 30, 40, or 50 seconds. And that was 30 seconds. To change that, what you're gonna do is again, enter your master code, press lock, then do one, three, lock, and then I'm gonna do one, that's for 10 seconds. Lock, beeps twice. Let's unlock it with our code. One, 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 unlock. Now this is gonna lock back up in 10 seconds. And if you wanted to change that, replace the one for 10 seconds. Two is for 20 seconds. Five is actually for 30. Seven is for 40 and nine is for 50 seconds. Now, finally, to change the master code, the 0000 that we've been using, what you do is you enter that code, one, two, three, four, lock, press seven, lock, enter your new master code, up to 10 digits, one, three, five, seven, nine, two, four, six, eight, zero, lock. If you wanna be real secure, you can go up to 10 digits. So now anytime you wanna program this, you need to enter that insanely long code. And now you have a new user code. And if you just did a whole bunch of stuff to this, like I just did, and especially if this isn't even your own house, remember that reset button right here, Use a nail or I'm using an Allen wrench. Reset it. It beeps and you're back to square one. So if you have this deadbolt, I hope this video helped you figure out how to program it. Uh, a lot of times seeing is easier than reading the directions and trying to figure it out. So if you did, or if you were looking to buy a deadbolt, this one's pretty cool. Uh, it's up to you. I'll leave a link in the description over to that if you want to buy one. And if you want to see more videos like this, you can click hereish and hereish. Check those out. And if you haven't subscribed yet, definitely consider it. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.